Good morning everybody. I hope you're all well. I just wanted to share something with you today really that God reminded me of. You know, he speaks to us in all kinds of ways and in all kinds of circumstances. And um, I used to work with a lady who, um, whenever she used to come into the kitchen to make a fresh cup of tea, she'd pour out the old tea in the sink and then open the tap and then just hold her cup under the tap. She wouldn't use any detergents, she wouldn't use any scourers, she'd literally just stand there and let the clean running water just clean that cup all by itself. You know, and that little analogy spoke loads to me. I just kind of visualised me reading the word of God and standing under a tap and his word being poured into me. And then allowing the Holy Spirit to just get rid of all of the dregs in the bottom, then they'd work their way up to the top. And as more of the word was poured into me, then the dregs would just pour out, be flushed out. So more of the good stuff in and, uh, and all of the bad stuff out. And I just kind of wanted to share that with you today, just to allow yourself to be stood under the tap of God's word, allowed his word to be poured into you each day, you know, and then the Holy Spirit will do the work. He'll allow all the bits that are stuck, all the bits that have been there perhaps, that have, have just accumulated and, and then just work um, in the bottom, right at the bottom, the bits that you can't see perhaps, and just allow God's word to just flush you out. And eventually those bits will work their way out and you will be able to be overflowing. And then that what flows out of you will, will reach to others. You know, just like when Jesus said to the Samaritan woman at the well in John chapter 14, uh, sorry, John chapter four, verse 14, he said to her, this water that I give you, you know, you will never thirst again. And let us be in a position where what is overflowing from us is going to be living water to somebody. And we can say to them, like Jesus said, you know, you will never thirst again. Just, uh, just think about that. Just allow yourself to stand under the tap of his word. And then just let the Holy Spirit do what he has to do in your life to refresh you and to wash you and to make you clean. Have a good day.